So next up in the human factor module, we will talk about ethics in software engineering. Uh, and fundamentally, ethics is uh, the study or the discipline about what is good and bad, uh, about maybe moral obligations and duties, and about any kind of principles, a set of principles uh, that apply to a certain area, for example, software engineering. Now, uh, ethics in software engineering is really broad, and this, why, uh, this is why I want to have it in this lecture, because in computer science, in the broader sense, the focus is very much on the products and the algorithms we build. So this is definitely an important aspect. What kind of product are you building? Is this, for example, something that is biased towards certain people? We have heard of algorithms that have a racial bias that would, for example, tag black people as criminals more likely than white people, that would uh, make unethical decisions like splitting up families in airplane flights so that they would pay for an extra seat or for seating themselves so that they can be together again, and these kind of things. Um, but since we're talking about the practice of developing software, it's not only about what is coming out at the end, but also how we, pr uh, we do this along the way. And that, for example, also goes into uh, the release cycle. Are you releasing something that you know is not safe to use, that is not tested properly, or you have doubts that this might work uh, in a certain way? It's about how you behave as an employee, or as a CEO or whatever, what is your role? Are you behaving in a way that is within public interest, that is uh, in accordance to your employer's interest, or are you doing uh, unethical things there? So for instance here, we know of cases where employees have taken uh, software algorithms from one workplace to the next when they got fired or when they left the job uh, and basically used the intellectual property of one company somewhere else which is an unethical thing to do, of course. Uh, we know that, for example, in the Dieselgate scandal where uh, cars got rigged to show different uh, emissions at under test conditions, certain employees of the automotive vendors behaved in unethical ways by actually building this into the product or by listening to the uh, managers that wanted them to do that. So there is a whole dimension uh, there. And then finally, which is not talked that much about yet, but you have a certain moral obligation towards your profession if you work as a software engineer. Uh, this might sound a bit strange, but this is commonplace in most engineering disciplines in, for example, medicine, that you should behave in a certain way that is according to the standards of your discipline, otherwise you cast a bad light on it, like a doctor that has does moral practice, uh, he or she might look bad for the entire discipline because this can of course lead if a lot of people behave in an unethical way this can lead to uh, a general society distrust for software engineers for example so there are all sorts of obligations that you have and that you might want to think about um, and in practice this is what makes it tricky the things are not always clear cut. Often you end up in these ethical dilemmas. I, for example, talked about Dieselgate. I'm pretty sure the employees who built in uh, the algorithms that ultimately cheated the, the test conditions, uh, they were pushed to do that by some of their managers. So they had this dilemma of, should I do this? It's unethical. Or should I resist? And then I might lose my job or not get promoted or anything like that. So it's, of course, not clear cut. But this is uh, why we need to talk about this.